You can use more to the end. To the B side, on to the HA after party.com. What's up, guys? This, Hi, yeah. <laughs> this is Solo. And this is Stucky. And we are two BBCs, two broke black chicks. And we are back with another episode. This number two. Week. Yeah, number two. We're happy. <laughs> How you feel about our second episode? Um, I would. It, it's different. It's a, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, we getting into the groove of stuff. Yeah, but I like it. It's cool. And so I'm uh, it. she been on my ass about stuff. I so have. I'm yeah, let me let me tell y'all about this BBC. Okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she is so busy. I can't catch her any time of the day. It don't matter morning, noon, night. She. She gonna get better. Yeah, I, I, I try to. She gonna get better. I try to get better, so. So you just <laughs> make my nerves bad. I be stressed. I got you, so low. Make my edges <laughs> fall out. But um, how was your week this week? I had a real busy week. <clears throat> I had a super busy week. Um, I didn't do nothing real grown up like which I wanted to do, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Didn't get penetrated. If that, what you're wondering, I did not, and I'm sad about it. Um, but I did have a really good week with my kid. It was Halloween, so we went to some Halloween shit. I was a sunflower at work, y'all. I work with about thirty five thousand white people. <laughs> it is five black females in that building. And you tonight. chose to be the blackest flower. The, the black, a sunflower. I was a sunflower, and I didn't think about it until I put it on. I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. I look like the nigga. Like, I look like the talking nigga. I'm in the front, like. <laughs> so oh, Mr. Sun? Sun? The fuck? I got home and was pissed off. These hoes made me a sunflower. <laughs> oh, stupid ass bitches. So, my week, my week wasn't too eventful. I did make some money moves, mm -hmm. though. So, that's all that matters. How was your week? It was good. I got me a tattoo. But the end of October, it was very, very, like. Not stressful, but a whole bunch of shit was going on. I didn't expect all this stuff to be really happening in October, but I got through it. I got me a tattoo. I got me a peace sign at the back of my thigh, and it's rainbow colors by uh, Crystal Artetic. Most of y'all know her, but yeah. she's the one who actually touches my skin. I love she, all her still tattoos. At the she, candy shop? No, she's okay. um in Irvin at Ink Studio. I mean, at Ink Tattoos or Ink Studios. Don't don't give me the line. It's something ink and something with tattoos. But okay. like, I really like my tattoo. I really vibe with her, and she really be seeing my vision. She's super dope artist. Yeah, and I love her cartoons. Yeah, and she really be seeing my vision when it comes to stuff. So, and she'll you know really. Be like, okay, yeah, this is a good idea. What you made what made you think of this and stuff like that. So I fucks with it. And I ended my work week too. So That's good. And I I wanted to ask you something just because of the placement of your tattoo. Did it turn you on a little bit? No. No? No, okay. no. It was hurting. It I, hurt. I like the placement of the tattoo because I I was thinking about when like a nigga be hitting it from the back or right. like I don't know. The just visuals. Like, yeah, the visual. The placements of my tattoos are very, very, very crucial to me. I know it's crucial to everybody, but I get like white she girl has placement. A tattoo between her boobs. Yeah. It's a pineapple. It's a pineapple right here. So <laughs> <laughs> most people get like lines or something. No, I got a pineapple. But yeah, I really was thinking about the placement for like when I have with somebody i have a tattoo um kind of close to mm -hmm. where you have one and that literally it like my legs going numb made me kind of horny like it, it turned me on a little bit but i like the pain of tattoo yeah i don't like the sounds so i always wear headphones or something but i love the pain of tattoos i have up to date now i can count at least 24 Okay. I don't know how many tattoos I got. I just randomly get them places. Yeah. I had one at the bottom of my foot. It's gone. Like, it rubbed off? Mm-hmm. Okay. It said Made in America. Mm -hmm. uh, most of y'all remember that tattoo when I got it. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. It's somebody extra in the room, y'all. It is. <laughs> and we didn't even introduce her. <laughs> it's my sister, Tula. Um, She... It's supposed to be a part of our podcast, but we're going to ease her into we gonna, this. We're going to bring it in slow. Yeah, you know, we're slowly. We're going to slide some lube on that thing before we stick it out. <laughs> <laughs> Spit on it. We're just going to oh, spit on okay. it. No, I like okay. that bad. <laughs> like, y'all just nasty. 
Y'all know I had to put my uh my sister on, so she wanted to see what we was doing today, and I told her to just come on. So, mm-hmm. and Tula is pretty much gonna be giving us tea on what the fuck she wants to. Mm-hmm. I, we can't feel to her. I don't know. I, I try to write Morgan in script or I try to write Stucky in script, but it, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I know sh- this bitch, she definitely ain't going to do cooperation. She gonna, I'm going to be there when I'm there, bitch. I might be there Thursday. Why do y'all busy? record on be Friday? I'll be busy. I'll be busy. They, they be I'll busy. be trying to dr- juggle. And they ain't got no kids. I got a kid. <laughs> Courtney, leave us alone. We no, didn't do nothing. That's how y'all like We didn't do nothing. <laughs> That's how light skinned people operate. <laughs> y'all be busy. What y'all doing? Nothing, but busy. you busy. Mm-hmm. I be booked and busy. Booked oh, and busy. Lord. And I be feeling like I'm on Dream Girls. Like, baby, I got a show to do. Like, when oh. I come here, don't you don't you oh, feel like that? I, I baby, I got a show a, to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tonight. I have I got my, my show yes. at, you know, seven. <laughs> have to be there. You know, maybe we can link afterwards. But yeah, no. Mm-hmm. So but. that's a cool recap and that's the introduction of Tula. Um, pretty much our next segment is going to be our Bay of the Day, mm-hmm. which we did last week. Um, <coughs> I did let Stucky go first last time. Um, you want to go first again? You can go first. Okay. Because I know, I know who my Bay is, y'all. <laughs> so my Bay of the Day is this dude from Brooklyn, I believe. I think he's from Brooklyn. Don't quote me on that. But his name is Tahoe from the So Shameless Podcast. He is so fine, but that's not why I like him. I like him on his podcast, so shameless again, Um, and I like his attitude. Like, he is so super funny. A nigga that's funny can talk me out my drawers Mm -hmm. so fast. Yeah. Tell me a joke. <laughs> oh my God, you made me laugh. You love me. Yes. I yes. love you. Now we together. It's very flat. Tahoe is my bait of the day. He's so fine. He got this salt and pepper beard, this deep voice. He got that Brooklyn I'm looking accent. at him right here. He looks like he wears Tim's every day. <laughs> he, dive, he drive a dub truck in New York. I love him. <laughs> Girl, I be writing him all the time. Hey. What's good morning. Up? Just saying, how you doing? <laughs> What's good? I got something for you if you ever, you know, in Dallas or anything like that. Where's so? Yes, I love him. <clears throat> he is on Instagram, y'all. Tahoe, like the truck underscore TV. He's hot. I like. Yeah, him he's a lot. cute. I'm looking at him right here. He's cute, right? Mm-hmm. I like that beard. I like the ass teeth. Yeah, I like. I and like him. Eyes are all hazily, and he a brown skin, like darker, <laughs> a little bit darker than the paper sack. I just wanted to give y'all a visual for the ones who are not watching live. This man is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. If you are his baby mama and you are listening. I am so sorry. I don't mean no disrespect. <laughs> but baby don't, girl. Don't beat me up, but baby girl. <laughs> Shout out to B. Simone. <laughs> Your boyfriend. Your baby daddy. It's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Who you got for bad today? It's going to be Melanie, ATM Mills. <laughs> she called me out last week. Um, okay. I didn't know she was going to really be tuning in or whatever. But uh, thank you so much for showing me love and being a friend from, uh, to me for so long. Like, she's uh, rapping now. She always go out of town. She's, like, linking with celebrities. Um, that's, the people the who... one, that's the one that got the crush on Kay Michelle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Kay Michelle boo thing. That's, that's her friend. Okay. Like, they, they real life, like, be together. Um, Kay Michelle. um, um Drika Kevin and Kevin Gates. And oh. yeah, she's a consistent yeah. person. I love Melanie. Mm-hmm. I love Melanie too. We, she, both of our I friends. I can't be friends with her because <laughs> I be like, we're Drika. <laughs> we're Drika and Kevin. I, they have to come as a duo. Oh, people be doing it to her and she be noticing like, you know, because mm-hmm. they be trying to, you know, yeah, clout that's chase. Why I, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even try. Mm-hmm. Hey, Melanie. <laughs> thank you for listening. But I can't be your friend because I... Once who have sex with Drake uh, yeah. and Kevin Gates both. And one more thing. I said something like some years ago about her being my stud muffin. Because <laughs> she, she's a, uh, she's gay. So I was like, ah, oh, doing a play on words. I was like, oh, my stud muffin. And she just took it and ran with it. So that's our little inside so technically joke. technically I'm married. That's what that means. Yeah, I'm supposed to always post her on, I think I post her on Man Crush Monday. <laughs> I was confused because I post her on um, Women Crush Wednesday. I was we like, I'm all day. types of confused over here. I don't know what to post you as. Yeah, it's like we don't know what day <laughs> to post you on. She is a woman. Mm-hmm. She doesn't identify as a man. Mm-hmm. So, so she's a woman. Just a lesbian. Yeah, yeah, a lesbian. So we that be posting her on both. A little bit harder than others. You know what <laughs> a I mean? little bit harder. 
a and little I, bit flyer. I, I didn't been to her Instagram a couple of times, so I didn't see a little pics. But I, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna add you to that friend request list because it ain't gonna be nothing. I hey Melanie, <laughs> I was just wondering. I see Drika was two point seven five miles away from you the last time y'all took a picture together, <laughs> and I was just wondering if you could tell. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Like <laughs> but thank you. Thank At least you she warned you. She being right. for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? People really like honesty, so you can get far with that. <laughs> I hope so, cause I ain't fucking lying. That's gonna be my only conversation. Hey, where they at though? Where they at though? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, speaking of Kevin Gates and Drika, our taboo of the week. Oh yeah. Which is our segment where it's where we say it's only taboo to you. Mm-hmm. Meaning something sexual that you find is not normal in the bedroom that people don't consider rated PG mm-hmm. or like we're rated X X X X X P R S T F. But I'm regular. some people are not lies. <laughs> Log in. Log in. I'm regular. I'm not gonna let her lie to y'all like that. She's lying. That is a lie. But uh our taboo for the day is group sex. Mm-hmm. Threesomes. AKA threesomes. AKA threesomes, but group sex can be more than just threesomes. Mm-hmm. You can have four people, you can have five people, you can have six people. So Yeah. Group the number six. can just be the the more the merrier. You get what I'm saying? And um I started off with threesomes when it came to group six. And what did you start off with? Threesomes too? Um, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were uh, gonna say that. <laughs> only because only because I won't call it group six just because we were not participating all together, but it was Okay, fuck it. I'm going to just tell y'all what, what Yeah, it break it down. Break it I want to know. Down. Okay, fuck y'all. Anywho, <laughs> I used to throw these parties called gangster parties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just some 08. I used to throw gangster parties. Like, um, I'm not going to tell y'all the frame, the year frame. Nope. But the dude I was talking to at the time, me and him were, our sex drives were, at a thousand. We were the most compatible. He was the most compatible person I had ever been with sexually. I had never had no man have sex with me the way he had sex with me. So I was willing to do anything <coughs> and everything to get his penis inside of me. In any orifice that I had available mm-hmm. for him to use. Mm-hmm. And I used to throw these things called gangster parties where it's really just me and a couple of my homegirls and him and a couple of his boys coming over, chilling, getting drunk, getting high, you know what I'm saying, smoking, and eventually, they would all end up having sex, like, the other people that were there, we was gonna get it in regardless. After the blunt, or after the drink? Uh, it depended on the night, okay. I mean, that was just like, fuck we it. We was thugging, that's mm-hmm. what we called it at that time, <laughs> we was thugging, and I, and I bullshit you not. I used to come out of my room. It would be me and him in the room. It wouldn't be. No, we had open sex before. But it would, usually we would find a closet, hallway, bathroom, <clears throat> something a little away from the crowd. Mm-hmm. But I've walked in my house and literally seen people having sex in multiple places. <laughs> like, all around. Like, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was cool. I was like, I can do this every fucking weekend. Yes. These are the best parties because I was only fucking on one dude there. I wasn't getting penetrated by more than one person. So I would say that's kind of group sex. Not really. That is like an intro. But it's sex in front of an audience. It was yes. an intro. Yes. I also had a threesome though. But I want you to tell me about yeah, my Yeah. So my introduction to like group sex, I remember we had a vacant house party. <laughs> We was in high school. I was petty in high school. I don't know what the high fuck was school. wrong with me. Like, it's just like if you, you were a minor. Yeah, we you was were having group sex as a minor. No, not group sex as like a minor, but we was all trying to get it in. You get what I'm saying? But like, people wasn't. I don't know. But this was like my kind of introduction to the group sex. When I went off to college, I had my first threesome with this fraternity boy. It was this fraternity boy that I used to fuck with all the time because I went to all girls school and he was the only nigga in <laughs> Milwaukee that would go on that side of town. 
town and pick me up. Like, <laughs> I was 18, he was 21. Y'all don't understand. People in Milwaukee, they be like, what side you on? South side? Oh, nah, that's too far. Like, they don't drive like they do in Texas. So he was the only one that was like, fucking with me, fucking with me. So what am I supposed to do? Be in an all-girls dorm or fuck with a nigga that's like, Low key popping, and like, he, he don't get on my nerves. Yeah, he don't get on my nerves. He got his own house, his own car, and shit like that. So, um, him, we went. Me and my friend went over his house, and we were just sitting over there. It was like nothing was really planned, and it was just me and her over there. So, you know, I went to to his back to the room, uh, to the back of his room or whatever, and we started like fucking around, da 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 da. And then we were just laying there after we had sex. He was like. Go get your friend. I was like, don't try her. Don't try her. She going to say no. She going to say no. Because it was just like weird. I didn't want to seem like I set her up. Right. You get what I'm saying? That yeah. was my objection. Like, I didn't want to tell girl like, no, yeah. we didn't agree to this. We didn't talk about this beforehand. Yeah, I didn't want to turn her out. Like, you want me to turn my friend out? Not even that. I just don't want her to be like, go back to our. I have to go back to school with this fool. He he okay. He off the hook. Mm-hmm. He like, I tried to get some hoes to bust it open for me. I'm going to have to go back to an all girl school with her. And she's going to be like, well, Morgan, don't go anywhere with Morgan because Morgan is going to try A, B, and C. I'm not like that. So, like, he ended up, like, finessing her. So, he got out the room and was just talking to her. And he ended up finessing her into the bedroom with me and him. So, me and her laying on the sides of me and him, just, like, laying there. He, like, uh, fingering her, playing with her pussy or whatever. And, like, I'm on top of him, like, riding him and kissing him and stuff like that. And then it kind of ended there. It didn't It didn't do anything. Like, we didn't do anything. I kind of, like, ended it there because I wasn't sexually attracted to her. So it was just so like. So were you not attracted to women at that point in time when you? That were, was my friend. Okay. It wasn't. I wouldn't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't have sex with everybody. So yeah. even you can be fine. You as have hell. to have that attraction. Bro. I have you to be have sexually to be attracted. So it yeah. just seemed like I was just doing it for him, and I don't do stuff for other people. And then be like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I, I like, I don't I'm okay. have to have sex with you. It's like, a lot of those. Yeah, that's right what I'm there. saying. Like, I wasn't sexually attracted lot. to her. And I didn't want to... I could have went through with it, but it's just like, this fool like my nigga at the end of the day. Like, right. what we doing? We ain't building something. Right. Nigga, no, nah, I'm good. Like, you got to do what you want to do. I'm good. And then I just rolled over and went to sleep. And then she left, too. So, that's, yeah. that was my first threesome. Yeah, Your first threesome. My first threesome was very interesting. Very detailed, very foggy. <laughs> there was a lot of alcohol involved. You know, like my favorite drink to to drink right now. If I had to go get a bottle from the liquor store that I have to pay for, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get some crown apple. That's my go-to. So I you bought, poured us up some. I like that too. I bought a gallon of crown apple. For this particular getaway. Mm -hmm. I was having a weekend getaway. I was tired of everything I needed to get away. So I got away. (laughs) Got me a little Airbnb. You Mm -hmm. know. Chilled out. Relaxed. Called some friends over. Got drunk as shit. From then, I really don't know what happened for the rest of the day. I don't. (laughs) We did stuff. Like, we went out. We went to go eat. We went to (laughs) the store. The mall, I believe. <laughs> we we did we had a, we made a day of it. She don't. I was know. but I was drunk. Yeah. I was drunk all day from the time I got up. I was taking shots to the time my eyes closed. I was drunk. Mm-hmm. So eventually, me and my friends end up back at the Airbnb. We're relaxing. We have a hookah there, which is really super dope. That was a dope Airbnb. Um, we had a hookah there. I was getting ready to call my little dude over to, you know, I was ready to get it in. It was get it in time. Bust it open. I don't know if I was giving off that I want to fuck vibe, Mm -hmm. but I can't give you the exact moment when it started, but I know I was naked with two other females in less than 24 seconds. What you have on a dress, or you don't know? <laughs> I I had on a swimsuit. Okay. Because I had I was swimming earlier, so okay. yeah, I had on a swimsuit. Definitely had on a swimsuit. I was, but all three of us were naked. I had my first threesome with two ladies, mm-hmm. and um, it was different. It was because at that point in time, I knew I liked females, but I didn't know if I would ever go that far as to fuck with a female. Mm-hmm. I knew if my nigga wanted it, I would give him a threesome. 
but I didn't know if I liked girls. I did not find out that day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that. It was good. It was a good experience. Don't but, get me wrong. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it, it felt good. I mean, I was on edge the whole time. I had about six orgasms, but it wasn't my ideal first threesome. Mm-hmm. It wasn't something I pictured that I would be like, yeah, hell yeah, that's what's going down. Yep, this was going down. No. I was out of there and I had sex with two girls for the very first time. It was good. Were they feminine girls? Yes. Okay. They were girly girls. So, it was weird because they, they, they are not the girl I go for now. Okay. So, like, with the whole group sex thing, I I'm I'm good. That that is I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like group sex too. Would I'm I a do team it again player. With four <laughs> girls, for real? hell yeah, mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. But I do have to give ladies this advice, and this advice is <coughs> YOLO from Solo. Mm-hmm. Okay, listen to me. Understand this shit here. Do not tell your man. <laughs> that you're going to have a threesome with him <laughs> if you don't like pussy. Mm-hmm. Not if you're not, not if you are not attracted to girls. Not if you don't like girls. You kiss on girls in the club. You <coughs> rub on. But if you don't like vagina, Y'all be fraud. do no. not have sex or tell your dude that you're gonna have sex and have a threesome with him. It's not gonna work. It's gonna be awkward as fuck. You're gonna get jealous. The other girl is going to try to outperform you. Yep. Because so they you're not attracted like, to her. The time? No, that's not what happened all the no, time. No, 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 no. That's <clears throat> not the idea. I'm saying Mm-mm. that can happen mm-hmm. if a girl does not mm-hmm. like pussy. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you're not finna participate in this threesome, it's it's a different thing to watch your dude have sex with another girl. Yeah. I can do that too. But mm-hmm. if I am attracted to her, I'm going to wanna join in. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like pussy, if you just wanna go up there to feel to make sure she not kissing your nigga in the mouth or he ain't eating her pussy, that's not for you. Yep. It ain't for you, see. So do I you like, like... My threesome's dirty? <laughs> The the okay, so do you like, do you set the boundaries when you first have a threesome? Like, do you tell your dude, like, okay, so I don't want you exactly doing this, but this and this and this is okay. I don't or have, do you, have her I answer don't, it yeah, first, and I'm going to answer have it. boundaries in my threesomes. Okay. I don't. It's it's no hoes word because I feel like I'm not going to step in a situation where I'm uncomfortable. I'm going to be uncomfortable with my nigga. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's mine. No, bitch. I don't want to share. Mm-hmm. But it's a different... I mean, maybe with my husband. Mm-hmm. But if we get into... No, we in that phase where we get to know each other. We're dating. I'm calling you my man. You beating my mm-hmm. man. No, we're not going <coughs> to... I'm not going to surprise you with a threesome for your birthday because I like bitches. Yeah. I'm real greedy with mine. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll go fuck another nigga girl. I mean, another nigga and his girl. It's just not... I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have any rules. It's the, it depends on what the the type of person that you are. Um, when I was having threesomes with my dude, I did actually, I don't know. I just wanted him to make the girl feel comfortable. It's not boundaries. It's just like certain things that you actually go over before you have a threesome with a nigga. Because you know, niggas get around new pussy. They start acting kind of different. Niggas get in front of, Mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? So you have to really know your nigga. That's the thing when you have threesomes. You have to really know your man if that's going to be your man after that threesome. Not like a nigga that you just fuck around with every once in a while. If that's going to really be your man, you need to know him as a person. And then with me, I have threesomes with couples now. So they ask me what my boundaries are. You get what I'm saying? So, right. so you're like a unicorn. Is that what they call that? Yeah. I didn't know that that, that was called a unicorn. It's like actually, that's what, that's what yeah, unicorn is. like yeah. But yeah, so they they ask me what my boundaries are, and that's just like um like sexual wise. They don't ask me like um they say like anal. Um, are you? Uh, what do you not do? They're like, more sexual yeah, oriented questions. Yeah, than it's not like boundary. Oh, questions. Don't look him in the eye. 
you or suck don't his kiss dick. him. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. I it's not, that. it's not like that. disrespectful boundaries. It's like, what you want, what can we do with your body and what can we not do with your body? Mm -hmm. And I think that that needs to be set. And I think that you need to vibe with the man and you need to vibe with the part, with the uh, girl too. Also, if you do not like girls and you do not like pussy, but you want to just have a threesome for your man or whatever, it's a difference be between not wanting to eat pussy and, like, you know, wanting to be girl on girl. Some niggas don't care about girl on girl action with a threesome. Some niggas don't. So, like, it depends on what type of nigga you have. Like, some You're niggas just want two care pussy. About... Girls kissing on each other, girls sucking their dick at the same time. Some people just want two females. Or they want to fuck Face down, at ass one time. up. Yeah, just really want to fuck. That's two. not a threesome to me because yeah, you're not participating. That's what I'm saying, but it's still three people in yeah. there. So it Got all it. depends, but that's I don't count that as a threesome neither because everybody is not participating. Right. But you know, some niggas just want two girls at the same time. But like, I haven't ran into them. So, like, so, but I know that that is like some two, uh, some niggas just want to fuck them too. Like, they don't care if you yeah. like kiss them or not. But they I like the, I like the, the freaky ass niggas that want to see us kiss, that want to see us. Like suck his dick at the same time, ride yeah. his face, smother him, like kill, almost kill him, and they be like, he be with it, you know, like come on, come on, like he be Wait with a it. Hold up, yeah. Bitch. Did you say <laughs> like kill him. kill him? Yeah, like kill him, like smother him. People you, be into that. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I think it's called. <laughs> hold on, I've been listening to other podcasts, and it's a word: exfixiation, exfixiation. Mm -hmm. When you like to be smothered or mm -hmm. choked until you can't breathe mm -hmm. during sex. We're going to have to have a segment on that. Yep, yep, yep. Because I've had <coughs> an experience. What? So, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to ask you back to the group sex thing. Mm -hmm. What is your, have you had your ideal threesome? Or if you do, what is it? Yeah, I had my ideal threesome. Um, <clears throat> It was with three girls and a nigga. That's, so that's not a threesome, sis. But I'm just saying that's my I do a group sex. Okay. Like well, you get what I'm saying? Because you said my ideal threesome. Say my. Oh, ideal. okay. So my ideal threesome. That shit threw me full. I was like, it was with three I girls. One, two, three, <laughs> plus you. That's Didn't four. Yeah, that's <laughs> it was one. It was only one dick. You petty. Nah, because I was trying to bitch. I I did good in math. I she said she real threesome. smart. She real smart. But. Okay. All right. But my ideal threesome was with like you said it two. Was one dick? No, it was with two girls, me and what? two other girls. But that's I'm saying my ideal threesome. If we doing threesome strictly, not group sex. Oh no 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 no. Go back to the group sex. Oh yeah. okay. So like three five. girls, three girls and a man where we can just like fuck the shit out of him and he'll like I don't know. I like to be dominant sometimes in like threesomes and you you can double team with another female. Are like, you girl, damn sure gonna be dominant? Yeah, with like it's gonna be four like four bitches against one. Yeah. So How did that go? and if you don't. <laughs> it went well so if you don't really want to fuck the nigga you can go play with her because i like females too so you can like be eating her pussy you can be like just i don't know like it's like options maybe i just like options i always get samplers at you know uh, when i go out to eat so i like options <laughs> so does. Does. I, get she does. I do don't when i make it when i go out to eat and <laughs> Oh, and many sauces. I, I need love, about eight of them sauces. I'm so that's sauce how I am. Nigga. I hate sauces. <laughs> she loves sauces. If bro. it don't have no secret sauce on that bitch, mm -hmm. she don't want it. Right. <laughs> and it just be uh, mayonnaise with, with a different sauces and shit. <laughs> Fuck that. She but that's how I am with my uh, sexual experiences. I like options. You gonna have to share me. Like at the end of the day, like right. you gonna have to share. You like I'm don't not. Know about it? Yeah. Or you're not gonna know. About yeah. It. So. And okay, that's how so it is. I have a question. What's up? Why do they call a threesome two girls and one guy, but then when it's one girl and two guys, it's a train? So I, was, I had a whole different idea what a train was, but okay. I was told that was wrong. So I learned from the LGBT community. I had to say it slow because I was gonna fuck it up yeah. if I said it any other way. It's a lot of the letters. The LGBTQ mm -hmm. community. community. Yep. Yes. Forgot about the Q. That a threesome can be mm -hmm. MMF, which is male, male, female. Mm -hmm. It can be FFM, which is female, female, male. It can be MMM or, it, or FFF. Those are all considered threesomes as long as everybody is participating. When I think of choo-choo train, I I'm thinking of one bitch 
getting ran down by as many niggas that can take her. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they taking turns. They not messing with each other. (coughs) Yeah. In a threesome, you have to deal with all three people. And oh, okay. So yeah. Okay, so say, for example, it's two men, one girl. The two men, they not interacting with each other. Mm-hmm. Just say it's like one in her mouth, one in the... I still consider that a threesome okay. only because they are penetrating the same thing at the same time, even yeah. if one is in her mouth and one is in her ass. Yeah, you know technically, yeah, technically, it's a threesome. Growing up in the South, growing up in a black community, we call that shit train. Point blank, period. But I if really you are feminine, train was like a girl yeah. in one room, and it's like literally like a lie. But, it is, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm just saying yeah. in the urban community, I'm just saying like I know other people are gonna be like that's trained because mm-hmm. that's what we are trained to actually no. think. Uh, uh, if it's more than one nigga, that's called a train. I know it's not called a train. That's actually called a threesome. I'm just saying that's what I was actually taught. Like, oh yeah, if you fuck more than one nigga at the same time, you getting ran trained on. Oh, Point blank, period. The shit out of so me, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's what we were actually taught. But that is a threesome. No, I'm saying what I was mm-hmm. gonna say about my ideal threesome. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers judging me. Yeah, because I really wanna have. Not no time soon because I haven't found the right type of niggas. I think I'm going to have to do this shit overseas or something. <laughs> <For real. laughs> more but I want to have an MMF threesome. But what? I want them niggas to participate. with. I want all of us the shit out of each mm-hmm. other. Mm-hmm. I want it to be euphoric. Like some, we just <laughs> pop the best molly in the world type feeling. And no, I do not overseas. do drugs anymore. You don't, you don't I, have to go out. You don't. You don't have to go overseas. But up north, north niggas be on this. Up north niggas and be on this. No, be on this. Wait a minute. <laughs> Pause for the call. It's just niggas that have this type of stigmatism. Black men. No, no, I it's have, not. I, down have, I have seen a lot of niggas or a lot of men rather. That are white that's down with the shit. That's mm-hmm. Indian that's down with the shit. That's Asian that's down with the shit. Mm-hmm. You know, Hispanic that's down with the shit. And they they do have their little boundaries, but they're more open. Some black men are so closed-minded, but will do the shit behind closed doors. That's like, what it is. They want you to... You got to make them feel comfortable. Yeah, you got to make you them gonna feel comfortable. You're going to have to really, like, you know how when people say groom them, you're going to have yeah. to groom them to feel mm-hmm. comfortable. The next thing you know, they're going to be like, oh, I want to try this. And right. Like, yeah, you wanna people be what? wanting to try stuff, but it's like, they want to make societal, sure that you can. Yeah, there's not going to tell nobody. Yeah. Like, society is like really, really, really pushing, putting pressure on certain people to make, you know, not be gay not be right. you know you get what i'm saying i don't like those i don't like those categories yeah categories neither i, I hate them they they bother me but i'm so just saying realistically, much, realistically people yeah. are like really uh, on it so that i'm it's, pretty sure it's a motherfucker <coughs> that is gonna listen to this and be like that nasty bitch want to get fucked by two <laughs> niggas at the same yeah, time and that's how they gonna and hear she want them niggas but to like you each not other the only the girl that want time. that mm-hmm. you just the no only it's a lot of girls that get that mm-hmm. it's a you know lot of girls that want it that get it that does it mm-hmm. on a regular bitch, if you get it let me know how do i get these niggas to do this together <laughs> please inform me i want to know just be more open I mean I have niggas that propose certain stuff to me that's like because I'm more open as a person I put it on social media so it all depends on how you actually carry yourself so like back I really wasn't open about sex and stuff like that. So I was getting regular heterosexual sex. Yeah. Now people know that I'm with the shit. I get invited to like play parties. There's sex parties. I get other races of men that's like, oh, oh that's okay. a whole nother yeah. mm-hmm. sex. Do you do the swingers clubs and sex parties? I do. I don't do the sex parties or the swingers clubs as of right now, but I'm not opposed to, to it. I really be tired. Yeah. You know, I <laughs> be tired. Like, I really can't yeah. be just two places. <laughs> I want to go to a swing. You a haven't been yet. No, I'll take been. you to your first one. This made me all nervous now. I'm <laughs> don't, no, 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 no. So a lot of people think when you go to a swingers club, you have to participate. You have you to have sex. To. You don't have to. I'm a voyeur. That's the only reason why I go, and I really had to stop because I love. He got addicted to him. <laughs> no, seriously, I would wake up out my sleep at like midnight, one o'clock, and be like, "Shit, I just fade the swingers." See what they because it's going. all love at they, the end they, of the day. They sell liquor all night. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a couple hitting on you. Uh, disclaimer, if you go in a swingers club in Dallas and you think you finna get that Pandora's box, sexy, chocolate, <laughs> fine ass women, big booties, nice titty. Nope. 
Nope. <laughs> regular <laughs> regular people. I be in that hole all the time. <laughs> she ain't regular. She fine. Look at her. No, Look at I'm her. serious. Look at her. <laughs> like, it's regular every day. It's a lot of corporate people in there. They're discreet. They're nice as fuck. They will get you. You can tell them a hundred times, I'm not having sex tonight. They will still buy you every drink mm-hmm. at the bar. So we can go. We don't have to participate. We can go be voyeurs. I like watching people have sex. It gets me to where I need to be because I don't, I told you I don't masturbate, so I don't do that dumb shit. But I like the tingly feeling of being horny without having sex, if that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So them swingers clubs, they be on it. I haven't got invited to a sex party yet, and I'm really sad about it. <laughs> so if you are having a sex party, let me know. Definitely come. Not saying I will participate. Let's participate. Oh, I did go mandatory. to a sex party when I was in Milwaukee. That's okay. when it was. I I went to a sex party when I was in Milwaukee. It was a college thing, and everybody in there was like, it was like you had to say a couple, and it was like in a a basement house. I mean, it was in a basement and it was in a house part. And they had their mug set up. Everybody, Asian men was in there, Asian women was in there, black people, white people, they had their mug set up like nicely. And you had to have like condoms or you have to like have consent forms and stuff like, not forms, but just like, yeah, um, you certain really do have to, yeah. on. So like, it was really it's set up. It was underground. Levels. Mm-hmm. So it's different levels of sex parties. So they know if you're a voyeur, you're just watch or they know if you're there to participate mm-hmm. they know and it's not like everybody's walking around but as naked some people are clothed some people have on lingerie some people have on costumes these places are set up so nice oh one of my favorite clubs <laughs> so i've always had a fantasy about having sex with this principal that used to teach at my elementary school oh no, I... no. <gasps> y'all y'all know i don't like them damn colonizers i don't fool with them <laughs> It was the principal I had in elementary, and it's this desk. It's a wooden desk, old ass desk. We probably wasn't even in school when these had these color purple type desk, <laughs> big ass yardstick so ruler. They had a little girl, a little um school girl outfit that you can put on. I sat there and watched this white man give the worst dick <laughs> ever, and pictured myself in there getting <laughs> slammed by that principal, and it was so good. <laughs> I. I I think I can go home now. Like, <laughs> I'm good. Those swingers clubs are really fun. I, I yeah. do want to participate in one one day, but not in Dallas, fam. Mm-hmm. Not in Dallas. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I don't know. Like, group for us, my, I mean, the sex party that I went to, it was, like, college kids. So, it wasn't, like, people that was actually established and, like, yeah. couples. It was, like, okay, we kind of all kind of horny and we kind of all want to just see people or we want right. to see what it's about. But, like, established people they really are nice like if they you, are super like, nice married couples pe- now uh, they are a little racy don't, what? don't let don't don't get it twisted these people will hit you with the oh you're such a naughty black girl yeah 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 oh you're just a slate black girl okay i'm slutty <laughs> i know that don't call me black mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah she right she mary right. joe don't make me slap the shit out of you <laughs> not mary now joe. i didn't told you in uh big rufus over there <laughs> That I'm not gonna Rufus? be too many black little girls no more. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't actually. People haven't really, you know, said that to me. But I know a lot of like black females to actually get invited to these spaces. Get them it happens. Up. Get yeah, them I'm just saying. That's it, how you gotta it, do. It, it so happens. You, the truth will come so out. So y'all okay with being the fetish? Basically, no, I'm not okay with being a fetish. No, I'm not, no, I, I'm have not. A, I have a problem with that. Yeah, yeah I don't want to be being the, somebody's the, fetish. Yeah, I don't want to mm-hmm. be that. And, well, no, it's the black fetish. Yeah, yeah, I can probably do anything else. And I am open to dating outside my race. I have not yet, but it's the the fetish about the race shit. I don't. No, I don't really fuck with it. Yeah, now, I don't Nick like can it. can call me a black bitch because I mean I think that's because I think he calling me dark skinned, not. African American, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a black ass. <laughs> Who yeah, I don't like the race thing or like the size thing. Since I'm thick, like it's a lot of people that have a thick girl fetish. fetish. Like a no, yeah. Like I don't, that. I don't fuck with the race thing. So like, I don't know. Like I, I don't fuck with the race thing. It's I don't, some fetishes I, don't like I want it. to try. So I can't put everything. That's why I 
said, for right now, it's just the rice thing. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I'm not open to, the rice play shit. And I know some people really I'm get like, where is this coming from? Is off, this but... really a fi- oh, Where is this coming from? Right. It's, Do you really feel real like thing. that about me? I don't know if you playing or it's not. It's like two in, in your head. Like, like bitch. My told me a drunk fool don't tell no lies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shit. Like, I really got to deal your with being black. Right. <laughs> Outside yeah. of this. Right. This like, I still got to leave here and be black, fam. Like, what do you Like, this ain't no costume. Like, it's like right here. But yeah, that's the only type of fetish I do not really like. If you like that type of stuff and you don't really feel uncomfortable with that type of stuff, go ahead. My nigga be a, you know, the black girl fucking uh, yeah. Middle Eastern, white, or... And they really like it when, <laughs> they mm-hmm. have, when you have your hair in, like, the braids, mm-hmm. the twists. Yeah. Like, All right, shit. I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Uh, so, look, why you over there quiet? Do you live at a threesome? No, I have not. <laughs> hmm I would like to one day. <laughs> one day. But I, I think ideally, you, like, like with a husband or just some random stuff. I don't know about her. I have a thing about marriage. I keep it like sacred. I really, that's just my thing. Maybe with like a boyfriend before we get married. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I wouldn't. Yeah, I'll try it one day, but it's going to take me a long time to try it. It's going to take that one nigga, and he might not even be your boyfriend. It's yeah. going to take that one nigga to bring that freak out. I always thought that. I think the perfect person to have a threesome with is like the nigga that you don't want them to be your boyfriend, but they got some good ass dick mm-hmm. where it's like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. like this girl right here, yeah. these experiences. Yeah. Then Tell I'll a friend. Be, yeah. Send up smoke signals. Yeah. Bitch, he got it. Come see. <laughs> yes. Come with me. Make sure that mug got enough air so it can smoke. He got like wax <laughs> dick. It's like, we don't need to tell everybody. No, that kind of not right. even that. Don't tell nobody. That is embarrassing. If your boyfriend don't know how to have sex with people, like bitch, people is gonna be like, bitch, you fuck with him? Ugh. Oh, wet <laughs> dick ass nigga. That's rude. He come out too far from the pussy. The dick don't go in the right way no more. Like bitch, you don't. I mean, yeah, he do gotta be the right size too. Mm-hmm. He, no, fuck that. Fuck being the right size. You have to be able to please two women. At one time, and y'all last. niggas act like shit is impossible to have a girl sit on your face and your dick at the same time. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. You gotta have to. You have to be a multitasker. If you're not a you multitasker, it. you it's the threesome is going to be not lit as much as it should be. You have to know how to. You have to know where the other bitch is. Like okay, oh, uh, you have to know how to be a quarterback. You gotta put people in certain positions. You're gonna so you gonna do this co- and you are gonna do this. You gotta be coordinated. For no, you don't. You don't have to be coordinated, mm-hmm. but you know how you have to learn how to control your urges. That means hold your nut in, switch, rotate. You have to do a lot for yeah, the men. A lot of you men don't do, know how to do that. Yeah, they it. don't they don't know how to take breaks mm-hmm. or switch up, move from head, then let his dick dick rest for a minute. Mm-hmm. They don't and know I've how to do learned that. the the dudes that I know, my homies. That have had sex, I won't say the niggas I'm fucking, because the niggas I'm fucking definitely are with the shits. <laughs> but my homies, they be like, and the threesome is a no-no. They don't do that. I've heard it before, and they were dead-ass serious, like, nah, they can both give me head, but I ain't giving up no head, though. Okay. Nigga, why? That's Last the- yeah. People do be on yeah. it. People do be on it, and it's just like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, yeah. we're not doing and this. And that's thing. not a threesome. Those to me. be that's, the people that yeah. we want to just you to be uh face down, ass up on the edge of the bed, and he go from like each pussy. That's not no threesome. That's like you fucking two bitches. You ain't gonna you get him head. Two bitches. You nothing. Not, yeah. Like, nah, fam. Like, I, I want know a girl down about. there with me, licking, licking the lollipop. We need to be friends, girl. It's I something want- about everybody being on the same page. Yeah. Like magical with a threesome, like everybody trying I think to get that's everybody why my nuts. My first threesome mm-hmm. was good, even though it was two females. We were all on the same accord. We were with the shit. It yeah, was like, true. okay, this is happening. This is what we're gonna do. Let's put in our all. Let's go, girls. One mm-hmm. thing that I do want to talk about is if you are a couple and you want to have somebody, um, you know, fuck you and your man or you and your girl. What is some advice on trying to get a person in y'all bed? A couple. What what are some? I had first hand experiences where a couple was found out how sexually open I am, and they approached me with not a threesome, but for drink. That's bullshit. Get straight to the point. That's all I could give. Like seriously, you have a built, established relationship with your wife or your partner or your mate. 
whoever you're with, mm-hmm. if y'all want to bring another girl into the bedroom, that needs to be y'all approach. And I'm meaning y'all together. Y'all both have to say, hey, not just the nigga reaching out to her. Y'all both need to reach out to her and be like, hey, I know my dude hit, me, hit you up on this shit. You down? Are you comfortable? Mm-hmm. What we need to do? Meet us here. Get that shit in line. Have that shit lined up. Don't have y'all, don't hit up your home girl and be like, hey, me and my wife having a party. You want to come have some drinks and you get there and y'all didn't get shit out of me. Like, that's not, no, don't do that. <laughs> Why like, did you have to say Ebony the, the shit out I mean, of me? you know, I only came to dance for y'all. That's I only it. came to dance this. Bitch, <laughs> don't Ebony me. Like, let's, do, let's do this the right way. Tell what you want from the jump because I know you're in a relationship. I know you have a significant other. If that's what y'all want to do, and I needed to hear, I need to hear it from her. Mm-hmm. I, her like, yeah, we chose you. This is what we want. Mm-hmm. When we let, well, I'm, if I like that couple, what's up? I'm with the shit. Mm-hmm. Let's get a date on it. Okay. But I think, yeah, definitely, all parties have to communicate. Yeah, y'all need y'all to not be on communicate, the same page. Y'all will I never. Agree with it, it'll be so. And you might get stood up, and yeah, it's just, <laughs> no, just stood up. No, for stood real, up. a motherfucker will be like, they be on this shit, and then they'll be like, well, uh, they will stand you up and counsel mm-hmm. on you. Like, bitch, you wasn't gonna stop playing with me, right? Or they, <laughs> I've seen it happen where females have nutted up in the room, mm. like, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm really don't like girls. I'm really don't. I'm, I'm good. No. Mm, yeah. Bitch, if you don't get your square ass at my motherfucking room, <laughs> get out. Because no. now you done wasting my time, bitch. I done spent my y'all money getting really you drunk. Y'all really do be wasting people's time. No, like, y'all females, time. it's a group that I went to high school. Not even just females. It's just certain, certain people that I went to, like, with. Y'all be fake acting like y'all be with the shits. Y'all ain't with the shits. I'm trying to fuck. Like, y'all trying to play. Like, y'all trying to be cute in pictures. Mm-hmm. Oh, she twerking. Let me hit her ass. Bitch, are you eating pussy or nah? Or like, not. are you helping? at the same time or nah like y'all trying to be cute for I the <laughs> for, I can't stand bitches like that cause I used to be a bitch like that I used to be oh kiss me in the club ass bitch yes. bitch don't touch me when we get past this yes. part it's like y'all but be doing it but now that I've experienced you do like dealing with women on a sexual level I can't say it's annoying as fuck to have a girl kiss on you or touch on you at the club and you whisper in her ear so you coming back with me and that bitch be like oh my god oh, no. I don't even like girls mm-hmm. well why the fuck try to get in the group why the Oh, Morgan, no, nah, fam, you the one who uh opened yeah. the door. Like, yeah, you, especially <laughs> if they initiate all the rubbing and touching and shit. Like, I hit them with that nigga shit, bitch. Don't play with me. I feel like my dick is hard, bitch. Don't play with me. <laughs> you will get- <laughs> I got a nigga I right you. here just like, oh, this fool you. busting. What's I don't up? even have to count. I, you, me and you, mm-hmm. don't play with me like that. That's like, that, that, that pisses me off. Girl, I don't, that pisses me for real a lot of people do this shit a lot of people play like they own that level I call it play. 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 gay play <laughs> you can flirt it's cool to flirt yeah. cause I flirt with or it's good. they say this nice ass or nice titties but don't yeah. be trying to act like that shit in front of niggas because that's what females do y'all be trying to just have a nigga get turned on with the shit. and then you when your the nigga shit. wanna fuck me you mad yeah you been you, you, mad. you mad you been kissing on me all night now Baby, we bringing her home. Nah, that's my home, girl. Bitch. No. I want the fuck. I ain't your home, girl. <laughs> Bye. This was an act like you was acting, bitch. I'll go I home. thought you was. <laughs> but yeah, that's just my annoyance. Damn, I think we had some good group sex talk. We need to get that out because I'm ready. I'm ready for my next threesome. I'm ready to line this shit up. Yeah, I had a threesome last Friday after I, um. After our last show? Mm hmm. I had yeah. them. Mm-hmm. I think I had one like two weeks before that. Yeah. So so after our it's, show, it's that time again. <laughs> so that time again. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. <laughs> I'll be getting it in. Mm-hmm. Oh y'all, thank you for listening again. It's been another episode number two of BBC. Two BBCs. We're two. broke black chicks. Don't forget that shit. We are definitely broke. So donate. No for. Donate. Donate. Just, I just hit the inbox. Any inbox. I just need donate. a dollar, man. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> I told you, we'll suck for studio time. <laughs>
<laughs> like for real. If everybody can just be on donate a dollar, we can get something popping, bro. Just a dollar at least. Yes, please. Or at least all and my make fr- sure, followers. Uh, you follow us on all of our platforms. We uh, are yeah. um on Instagram again. T- podcast. That's the number two. BBC podcast. We also have a Twitter and our Twitter account is at BBC underscore again BBC underscore podcast. (laughs) We also are streaming on SoundCloud. I'm planning on releasing the show show every Wednesday even though y'all are watching this live I'm releasing the show, editing what I want to edit out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do this shit. I am going to post that on SoundCloud, and as soon as it is ready to be streamed, we will have that too while you at work, chilling, on the clock. I'm going to have that up for y'all by mon- uh, by Wednesday. Don't hold me to it because I lie a lot. But We trying to yeah, really we, we, make we it trying. real fast we when we, we post stuff. And if y'all have questions for us, y'all can hit them DMs. Um, on Facebook, we do have a Facebook too. It's mm-hmm. two BBC. Yeah. So two. Yeah, follow BBC our Facebook page. Apostrophe S. Yes, apostrophe okay. S. And thank you too, love, for showing your face. Ooh, with can I put my ass. um? Yo, Instagram. Media. Yes, I like oh, yeah. social, uh, Instagram and Snapchat is at Tula Ray, which is T O O L A R A E. My stuff is private, so I might accept you. But what? She likes it. She I got- Remember them, that post that I made on, uh, I think it was Instagram, Instagram about a whole bunch of notifications on their phone. They be having 1,000 notifications on their home I screen. I just have 400 friend with, uh, requests up in my Instagram. That we ain't talking about the DM she dodging. <laughs> All this shit. I, know I you get like, off the flights a- every week. <laughs> every week. You yeah. need to be that's that light girl. <laughs> Look, and this fam. bitch so popping. Don't sleep. Who me? Don't sleep on oh, no <laughs> This bitch is popping. Do you hear me? Thank she- you. Cash in on it. Nah. I be cash. I- if y'all offer me anything, I'm cashing in on that. You can offer me something a year ago, like Morgan. I'll pay for. I'm gonna cash in on that favor because I used to be like that. But then I realized, like, let me just see. You know. Yeah. Try to write that check to see if. Y'all <laughs> so. yeah. I don't know. No, I just don't, I don't be trusting. So. I don't be trusting y'all niggas. You um, gotta screen yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm not trying. It can be a little rapey, like it just. Oh my god. <laughs> I like it a little rapey. I'm just don't not. I don't want you to take it. I just want to I throw want... it to you. I don't want you to have to take it. I want to be. I'm like, no, don't uh, stop. Uh, no, oh, no, no, you wanna you wanna feel helpless? Yes. Oh, Damsel in distress. <laughs> we gonna get let y'all out of here, y'all. Thank you again for tuning in. Tune in again next week. B B C. Mm. Wait, oh, you yeah. didn't have to Girl, these little bitty ass nails, I'm mad at these little fresh <laughs> nails. You know I'm getting Matt, but your nails that short. I don't know because I wasn't paying attention when she cut them. Mm-hmm. Do it. Take to me. Do it.